only you because, of course, your face. But all through the country, they sent me eight pairs. have been sent to me by... Eight pairs of what? Things to fasten up something. I don't know what, what fastens up. Fasten up, I don't know. You mean it holds the... Uh... I don't know. Wait a minute. Are, are, you, are you wearing eight pairs? Or what? No, but... Well, yes. <laughs> I must put it have to. How much weight do you lose? Sorry, Shabazz, in this house. Here. It's courtesy that I should sit down after you, but I never know when you're going to drop it, you know. I don't. I, she can be in midair longer than anybody I ever saw. We both know it. We pray. We both know you pray for guests like that. We just start talking, yeah. and you never know which direction they're going to go. You know, you always she... work well with people like that. Uh, it was she who started the feud with Walter Winchell that, that caused such trouble for a couple of years. For, yeah. for me, you know. You just seemed to draw those things to I you, did. didn't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> but uh, it was exciting. I I, I think I, what I did do rather well was bring reality yeah. to television. If I told somebody a story, they believed me. Yeah. And uh, once or twice, perhaps more, I'm being honest now, I, I made up something. And you know it doesn't work. Yeah. I try to make it sound like it happened. It doesn't, doesn't work. Have you have you mellowed? You were rather sensitive, accused by the press when somebody would say something even personal about you, and you would yeah. take umbrage, and it would become almost a national thing on television. Have you mellowed now? Well, I was sued by Winchell for a, for, for a million, and Jimmy Hoffa sued Bobby Kennedy and me for two million, but we never lost a penny. Yeah. Never lost any money in a libel suit. Right. No, yeah. But that's... Uh, I, do, 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 do you want to hear a fun story? Sure. How much right. time we got here? Got a minute and a half. Well, tell Letterman to go home and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, just bump it up a half. Yeah, right. Move the Star Spangled Banner out. Well, <clears throat> half a minute. I, I don't have any half-minute stories. A minute and a half. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. This reminds me. I am... Uh, ha used to have a remarkable memory. I mean, I could sight read. And I never used cue cards or teleprompters, any of that stuff. However, we had teleprompters on the cameras for commercials. Now, in the studio, you can see, but may I explain? A, a teleprompter is a yellow box. It's on top of a camera with a yellow roll, and it rolls with large type through a magnifying glass. And if you read it well, they think you're ad-libbing. And I was an expert at doing that, because I've been, I've been in this business since I was 16. And I can read anything cold. So the staff was, the only one that reads better than I do a teleprompter is the president, Reagan. Yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah, he's good. <laughs> but there are certain tricks you know have to know how to do it. And, uh, but I have no interest in office. Now, let me tell you about it. <laughs> so my staff started to needle me and say, you know, you don't do any of those uh, uh, promos for diseases. Mm -hmm. Everybody was doing them. And I said, well, it's so hypocritical, I think. And also, there are no good diseases left. You know, the diaper rash, sunburn, you know, that stuff. So I said, leave me alone and put something on. I'll get the makeup on and the blue shirt, and I'll read anything you put up. Okay. I was very proud I could read so well. So I began to read this, and I said, friends, do you wake up in the morning tired and listless? Are you dehydrated? Do you constantly go to the bathroom often at night? Are, are you paranoid? Are you emotional? Do you think that people don't like you? And I stopped, so I remember, and the director from the booth, who was Hal Gurney before Bobby, and he said, Jack, what's wrong? I said, what do you mean, what is wrong? He said, well, Jack, you've just stopped reading and you're staring into the camera. I said, well, indeed I am. I have this damn disease. <laughs> <laughs> 